Well, ladies and gentlemen, we move on with Muay Thai over three, two minute rounds of action as sponsored by Manson. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, a representing Panrang Muay Thai, Jordan Hockey. And would you welcome his opponents into the red corner, a representing East-West Stroud, Matt Sanson. So we're finally ready. Both, both fighters have got their shin guards on. There was a little bit of a miscommunication there, but we're ready and we are fighting Muay Thai rules. Yep, three two-minute rounds, George. Jordan Hocking, Kang Rang, Muay Thai, against Matt Sansom, East-West Stroud in the red corner. And as you said, both men got the shin guards on, a C-class fight here, and for the extra protection. We've seen Kang Rang previously tonight and we know their fighters are good we we don't know much about East Stroud Academy but we're soon gonna find out and we see it straight from the off both fighters throw big kicks to the midsection oh as you said that a big kick as well from Matt Sansom East West and you saw as with the previous Kangrang fighters Jordan Hocking looking to get into clinch that was a big head kick there from Sansom well, it's the second one, and this is the danger for Hocking while he's looking to get into the clinch. He's getting caught on the way in. Now, as I said previously, as you saw, Kang Rang comfortable in the clinch, well drilled in the clinch, know what they're doing. But the danger for him, as we saw from Matt Sanson, is the explosive kicks he might have to take on the way in to get to that clinch. See, the problem for um, Jordan here is that Samson is well scored in the clinch too, so relying on the clinch isn't going to work. But as we've seen once they're separated like this, Samson throws heavy kicks to his face and you can't take any more of them. Like. Nice movement as well though this time from Hocking. A great start, they've wasted no time here in this opening round. Both men being tested with heavy shots, an overhand right from Hocking. Yeah, they're both getting straight into it. They're, they're not waiting around, you know. It's, it's unusual for a Muay Thai fight, actually, because traditionally they wait around, you know. They, the, the first round, they'll have a look, little look at each other, but we're seeing in this one, they're just going, they're going to war. They are, and it's, it's good for us. It's very exciting so far, and both men had success. You get the feeling Sansom more so, and what you said earlier could be the key to this fight is if Sansom is really good in the clinch as well, it causes problems for Jordan Hocking because you can see the man is dangerous on the outside. Yeah, he's quite nimble. He's getting their legs up quite high, and that, that round was a very even round. That I'm not, I'm not sure how to score it, but whether in the clinch, maybe you'll give it to the blue corner, but. I think overall I would give it to the red. So round two of three, and as you said, what's been great about this is there's been no feeling out process at all. Everything has been hard and hurtful. And we're straight back at it. Jordan Hawking landed a few, but Samson comes right back with some punches and knees. He's throwing shots over the clinch. Which is not a preferred tactic in all honesty, but if it's working, then it's working. Yeah, it's, I, I was going to say to you, it's, um, it's one thing to box like that, but those knees now in this second round are scoring well for Hocking. That's the difference in the first round. Sanson negated them, but when he's throwing punches back and ignoring the knees, they're a much better scoring technique in Muay Thai. And he'll feel, that, he'll feel them in the third round, you know, if it was to go that far. And again, you can see what Hocking wants, because this time, in this round, he's got success. Now he's starting to jam the knee, as he should have done in that first exchange, rather than try and throw the punches. Good jab right hand by Sanson, but Hocking now, you can see, looking to tie up when they come into any sort of range. And then we see the head kick from Sanson once again. 
He throws it at Will and he checks a kick again. But a nice step underneath by Jordan Hocking. That was a great, great bit of technique there. Yeah, and he's doing the right thing. He's now thinking about how to get into this clinch and thinking about when he can unload those knees, which makes this second round far more interesting in terms of how close it is because Hocking is now not just barreling forward trying to get the clinch, he's working for it very intelligently. And he's making Matt Sanson think now. He's making him work too. Uh, this is one of the closest fights of the night without question. Both are neutralising each other's game. Jordan wants to clinch, Sampson's saying no. Samson wants to throw head kicks. Jordan's punching him in the face, so... <laughs> it's an excellent, it's an excellent bat. And that was a superb round, George. You could look for definitely the first, Hocking the second, and this third round, I mean, it's been two great rounds anyway, but if this third round could be something else now, because this is so close, and as we thought, both straight at it immediately. There's no rest in here for these guys. They, they both want to win this so bad, and after those first two rounds that went either way, it's Samson that dumps Jordan Hoskins on, it, on, it, on his back. That'll be big scoring, especially in the tie, in the tie game. A, a, a throw is big scoring for the judges. Beautiful timing by Matt Sanson. And looking for the power there as well. Took the kicks from Hocking and came back with the power. The overhand right. Hocking looking to get in with that clinch again. Not so successful. This time Sanson turns beautifully. Yeah. And this time he negates the knees, George. Good work from Sanson there. Yeah, it's good work because it's interesting to see him on the on the opposing end of the clinch game. He was backing up Jordan into the corner, which we haven't seen, but that was a great kick by Samson. Right across the midsection there, and again, not shipping so many knees from Hocking in here in the third. And again, looks another good throw. throw by Samson. I'm just thinking, with this being a a C class with shin guards. Imagine there was no shins with that kick to oh. the midsection just and a moment these ago. punches as well now. He's really got through with rights and lefts here, Sanson. But Hocking, what a tough customer, George. He keeps ploughing forward. He's taken some heavy, heavy shots. That midsection kick to the rib cage, that kick to the face, the punches. Hocking is so tough. And he's just covering up here. He's just taking punishment now. But he's throwing leather back as well, he's not just taking it, he's, he's slipping and he's throwing left hooks and kicks as well. The corner telling Samson to go forward, I think they're looking for the finish. Both corners are calling them forward, they know what a war this has been. Samson looks much the fresher man I'm, and on the bell he that trips him with me, an George. inside leg kick and I think that that, that trip right there has just won in that fight. What a fight though, fight of the night so far for me, incredible from these two men. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I feel that was the fight of the night so far. What an incredible three rounds of action that was. And we do have a unanimous decision. Our three judges in favour of the blue corner.